special as I can. No way. Yeah. Thank you. Are you just burned tickets to Hawaii? Piper, are you? Piper, no. I'm going to Hawaii? Oh yeah. I got you a trip to Hawaii, baby. Let's go. Oh my God. She's really not good. Where'd it go? This is Pot Cake. If you don't know, she was a stray dog from the Bahamas. Until someone rescued her. Me being the someone. Now what I've been thinking about is that I feel like she can have a better life with someone else. But after thinking and thinking, Pot Cake, are you ready to go to your new home? with some difficult stuff and I just living life just living life okay we had some birthdays this week so we we picked up trash last week yes we're, we're, yes yes it's I crazy. had such a fun week actually it's felt like you know so much has happened and I hope that you guys enjoy it you know give it a like and come back for more if you want to just become you know that's right everyone really? put on your vlog belts because this week's gonna be insane let's go doesn't want to turn 17. So I have to make it as special as I can. Long story short, I told her that we were going to the beach to take some photos, but I had something else in mind. After a long day of sleeping in your own car, we're finally here taking photos. She didn't sleep in the car with me, but nope. I'm really, really tired. I have really bad bags under my eyeballs, but it's okay. These are the outfits for the next photos. Aren't yeah. they cute? We're at the beach, taking photos, walking on the beach. This is from That's So Fetch. He goes, guess what? That's, That's so, so fetch. fetch. Do you think that they had to pay for that? When we got to the beach, she had no clue what was going on. And she saw the picnic and she thought it was so cute, but she definitely didn't think it was for herself. Come on, a picnic in the sand? Heaven. Jeez, yo, it is too cold. I don't know how you ladies are tough. Oh my God, look, someone has that cute little thing set up. That looks like a proposal thing, I think we should take some photos. It's so cool. No, it's literally the exact same color. Yeah. Yes! What does it say? What does it say? I have a trouble to reading. Anna Kate, what does that say? Happy 17th, thank you, Kate. Yes, we got you! Oh, oh nice little pizza! Yeah. 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 So, we got all of your favorite snacks, and we're gonna have a cute little picnic, yeah, and take some photos, and there's pastries! Yeah, let's um, have some fun, I guess. So guys, give this video a like, and I really hope you enjoy it. We did your two favorite Thank colors. Thank you! Of course, of course, Thank but you. there's another surprise. Should we wait until later? Another? Yeah, when you guys yeah. aren't cold. Okay. Yeah. Anna Kate, I wish you the happiest of birthdays. You told me that this was the first ever surprise you got for your birthday, and that made me feel so happy and so lucky that I found you as a friend and as, you know, someone to film with. photos there's not too much you know to say besides happy birthday and there is another surprise so stay but I had to fit it no, no, no. we'll give this to you after we like snack a little bit it's another surprise yeah. all of Anna Kate's favorite snacks at least I think so yes we have grapes strawberries tomatoes carrots goldfish I don't know if she actually likes bananas I do but like bananas bananas why are you over here when Pretty over There's there. like cozy pillows to sit on, blankets, umbrellas. You're hunter, 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 hunter. So after we just had her birthday celebration slash freaking photo shoot, it's time to give you your last surprise. Mm -hmm. No way! Yeah, and your name's on them. What? Your name is on it, yeah. You can do that? Well, I mean, it's not like, it. huge. Open it's it. just like a little tiny thing. It says like Anna Kate. No way in this color I wanted. Thank you. It's right there. Anna Kate with a little heart. Oh, it's so cute. That's what she does right now. It looks cute right now. It does. That's so cute. Thank you. 
Nobody can say that they're there. Yeah, so I'm sure the viewers know, but if not, Anna Kate literally got these for Pyra's birthday. A different oh, color yeah. though. So yeah, that's like super cool. Like Baxies. Thank you. Besties! Ah! Now speaking of surprises, as I don't have enough surprises going on in my life, there's another surprise. So the editor says he has a surprise for me. Dot dot question mark. What? You have a surprise for me? I do have a surprise for you, but this is a game, a challenge. Okay. Can I ever just have a freaking actual surprise? Uh, do you want the surprise or not? I could just we, could just, we don't have to give it to you. All right, look. Surprise. Okay, you got three envelopes, and inside of each envelope is something valuable. All right, except one of them, there's something not so valuable. And here's the deal: you get to sacrifice <laughs> one envelope. All right, and you can keep the other two. But listen, listen. One of them has something really, really big. Like, one of them has something, if you Wait, burn so it, telling I'm me moving out. I'm pissed. Like, it's, I'm going to have to pick which one, and if I pick the wrong one, you're going to be really mad at me, and if I pick the wrong one, I'm going to get something stupid, or I could get something really good. Well, look, if you get the good one, it's something really, really freaking good. Like, okay, think okay, about okay. it. Wait, 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 wait. Am I hot or cold? I, hot? I honestly, cold? I don't even know which, I, I don't know. I just put them all in there. I don't uh, well, I'm picking number two. Burning this one? Yeah, so uh, you burn it. Whatever's inside of here, you don't keep. Okay, okay, ready? Wait, wait, are you sure? Can I trade? Yes, please. Okay, okay, okay. I want to do this one. That's like wait, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, this one's like, it feels like there's money in there. Oh. I want to burn your money. No, no, no Piper, 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 this, it's a gift for you. If, if, if think, think about what you do. Oh, yeah, the fire side. All right, and listen, if it, there's no saving it. There is no saving it. I'm scared. Wait, what is it? Can you see it yet? Can I'm you scared. see what it is? Oh my god, is that money? Okay, okay, throw it in the water, yeah, throw it in the water. What is that? Fire is burning! Mmm, it smells like campfire. Oh my god, no, you did not. Are you kidding me? Piper, no! <laughs> Piper, you just burned tickets to Hawaii! Piper, are you? Piper, I burned spent so much money on the tickets to Hawaii! You got a whole vacation! You didn't tell me, I didn't have one. How was I supposed You should have, like, the other one had money. I, I told you that I wanted and you were like, are you sure you want to pick that one? What the fuck, editor? You literally made me burn the Hawaii tickets? Are you kidding me? How stupid can you be? You literally made the freaking envelopes. You couldn't even remember one, two, or three. You can't have it. Okay, look, look, look. <laughs> I feel like that is messed up. How about you can't have the other two, but you can have the trip to Hawaii? Because I can't really return those. I'm going to Hawaii? Oh, yeah. I got you trip to Hawaii, baby. Let's go. Woo! Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's tomorrow. So I hope you can't. Don't have any plans this week? I actually do have a really big plans with my um, friends. <laughs> with bot cake? You know, you don't have to be. Okay. It's tomorrow. Oh, thank you, you got so much. Are I'm you down? Break it up. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, oh. So you got to pack your bag. You got a lot to get ready like now because your flight's in the morning. So this is so. Do you want to see what Wait, you lost? Who else is going with me? My wife. Your, my friend. Your mom. My pot cake. Okay, well, that's $1,000 cash. Can't have it, so I will be keeping that while you go to Hawaii. This one you can keep. You can actually have this. How about that? I'll be really right. nice. Ooh, it's an envelope. Yeah, Maybe it's really it's like nice. Maybe like... Yeah. Really? Woo! Hawaii! But look, I got a pack. I got places to be. I'm living in like nine hours. Let's go. What is she doing? Where'd it go? This is Pot Cake. If you don't know, she was a stray dog from the Bahamas. Until someone rescued her. Me being the someone. She's my best friend and she's honestly my everything. The reason that I never gave up on trying to get her back home and safe is because I don't think I could have lived knowing how she was living. She was never getting fed, she was never getting water, she was drinking legit probably someone's pee off the ground because she was so thirsty. People actually in the Bahamas, they don't really treat dogs like dogs, like how we do. They treat them like rodents and stuff like that. And you know, it's very hard to be in America and go to the Bahamas and see that and see what people do to them. And you know, people would hit her and kick her and there's like nothing I could do besides go like, I just had this feeling in my heart and she came to me at a time that I was feeling so unwanted and she really honestly helped me and it saved my life, honestly. she. It's most, one of the most amazing things ever. I don't think I could have 
ask for a better way to find a dog. And you guys know, I'm not even that bit much of a dog person, but you know, there's also a ton of other dogs there that like I would love to go save. There's tons of other dogs in so many countries that I would love to go save because it's not fair that the way they live, like it's not fair at all. So if you couldn't already tell, her life was pretty hard. If you wanna watch more of it, you can go to this video right here. But I just wanna give her everything that I can. Now, something that I did find out about Paw Cake is that she has really bad separation anxiety. Not only with me, just with like everybody. She doesn't like to be alone. And unfortunately with me, I'm always home, which is good, but I do travel a lot and kind of for a long time, you know, for tour, for you guys, for bikini shoots and stuff like that. So that is the only really, really hard thing. And I cannot even stand the feeling of knowing that she would feel abandoned again. You know what I mean? Now, what I've been thinking about is that I feel like she can have a better life with someone else. I feel like I am not giving her everything that she deserves. So actually the first day that we brought her to Los Angeles, my mom got a text message from this lady who was actually looking for her because she wanted to also rescue her from the Bahamas. And this lady was really obsessed with her and knew that there was something special about her, just how I knew that there was something special about her. The lady said that she really, really, really wanted her. And I had to think for weeks. I had to make a pro and con list about how many ways that this lady can make you know, a better life for her and how I would feel without her. I had to think for a really long time. I was, it was keeping me up at night, honestly. But after thinking and thinking, Pot Cake, you ready to go to your new home? No, she's ready for a nap, dude. She's like, look at her. For real. All right, this is a long drive tomorrow. How far is this drive tomorrow? Six hours, five and a half. Yeah, there. And then we got to drive back. All for you, Pot Cake Girl. All right, look, and this lady, guys, she has other dogs. She goes on she hikes. Has two other she's dogs a vet. Kind of she's a runner. She does hikes. She is a vet. So Pot Cake will be in the best care yeah, a great place. all the time. So. Yeah. Yeah, obviously it's gonna be emotional. And you know what, we're just gonna hard cut to Piper crying before we leave, cause I'm sure that'll- Hi guys, so I just currently took my last nap with Pot Cake. I fell asleep so hard, but we have to leave like right now. So I'm getting all of our snacks together that we need for the road trip. It's a long freaking road trip. But that's basically all we're doing right now. I'm so freaking excited, sad, so many mixed emotions. I've been crying all morning, but it's okay. We're gonna have a great day. Road trip, we got Pot Cake. Every time we go on a road trip, I always remind Pot Cake that we're going to another hotel because when we first got Pot Cake, we were in so many hotels in a car and I felt like that's what she thought her life was. We're going to Oakland, California, so I will explain more when we get there. It sounds really beautiful, so I hope it's as beautiful as it sounds. I just want to show you guys what I have as a backseat baddie. I have blanket, hello, kombucha. You can see it down there. Of course, a kombucha. The dog, of course. The dog even has her own blanket. We got family guide we have a huge thing of snacks our cleanliness bags like skincare and stuff like that and all my friends back there guys say what's up what's up whoa yeah they're bad they don't even talk they don't even judge me they're like the best friends ever okay so the editor's driving and he's telling me that once we pass these mountains we've been driving for like an hour in like 15 minutes once we get these past these mountains that six flags is there but i literally just drove through this whole entire town and i know that we already passed Six Flags. So he wants to make a bet that if Six Flags is still like up ahead, Six that Flags I- Six Flags is like an hour and a half, right? But, wait, but it's way back there. But if you said we've been driving like an hour and a half, then we're about to pull up on it. Okay. All right, the editor's usually right, so he might have gotten me here. I'm kind of I'm, I'm nervous. Here's the thing, the loser has to run a mile. All right, well, and I that's fine. I don't even fine. know the last time I ran. ran Loki kind of nervous, but I'm pretty sure we already passed it. Okay, so I'll let you guys know okay. the updates. All right, we're literally in the middle of nowhere. So, all right, are we gonna wait? Are we gonna are we gonna settle this? I mean, here's the thing. I have to turn, not turn, but it just like my. I mean, I feel like confidence is key. My confidence is pretty high. He was way too confident. 20 more minutes? Are you kidding me? Ma, are we passing it, or did we already pass it? In like 20 minutes, we have to pass. You wanna wait 20 minutes? I'll wait 15. All right, Hunter. Walking. Go. All right, Ma. Who won the challenge? I think Hunter knows. Yeah, six flags. Hunter's gotta run a mile. It's okay. I'll run the mile with you. I wanna. Did we really pass it? I didn't. See we it. literally passed it when we passed that. Like, Dude, when... I don't wanna run. A mile. Well, editor, looks like you're gonna be running a mile while I'm driving the jeep, watching you sweat your butt off. So we're literally gonna be on this road for 280 miles. So I mean, everyone, let's just take a nap. Put on cruise control. Bye. Boy, oh boy, we're gonna be there in literally 10 minutes. Um, 
little, I'm, I'm happy that we got here. It's only like five o'clock. So that's pretty good. Getting a little upset, getting a little sad, feeling the emotions, but I'm really, really happy for her. And not that many dogs have such a good chance of life as Pot Cake does. And so many people want her for some reason. I wish so many people wanted me. Like Pot Cake, everyone's like, oh my God, Pot Cake's so special. There's something about that dog that's so special. What? Piper, you're special. Yeah, that's what and everyone tells me. Now it's time for something that I've really not been thinking about because it's something that hurts so bad that I don't even want to think about. You have pot cake? Oh my god, he's so cool. The second we got there, pot cake kind of knew something was off. She, I could feel her energy and she kind of was just like, what are we doing here, mom? Can we go home? It's okay, pot cake. What do you think? Hi, hi there. Her boy. Uh, hi. Hi. That looks like your baby daddy, don't it? No. no, no. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's okay, not It's not little man. She's like, I don't know, aunt. She's. <laughs> <laughs> she quacks her tail, though. She... <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> She likes dogs a lot. There was two boy dogs and one girl, and you know, she was kind of just walking around the house, and I didn't really know what, you know, to really think. I had too many emotions in my head. And as you can see, I couldn't stop crying. Let's not show that editor, that's gross. <laughs> I can go visit her and stuff, but it's not that simple. So, this was like my final goodbye to her. Honestly, at this point, losing things that I love has gotten so easy, but this has been so hard and I just don't even know how to deal with it. Oh boy, it is currently 11.36 at night. So as you guys know, we um, dropped off the dog and it was around like five o'clock and you know, I, I was really upset. I was like at the point where I was so upset that I couldn't even speak anymore. Like I just wanted to kind of forget about it and like just like walk out and just, you know, it was really hard for me. I was really heartbroken and I was just like, I didn't understand, I didn't know what I had until I lost it. Like 45 minutes went by, we're on the road and I just, I feel like I could feel her energy and I could feel like how stressed she was because she does have really bad like separation anxiety. So I asked Hunter and my mom if I could go back and we asked the lady and thank God she said yes, but I, thought I was going to go get her back, but the lady is actually gone. She had some personal things that she wanted to do and she was gonna be out for the night, so there's no way that we could get the dog until seven in the morning. So now we are camping in the car. We just stopped at a hospital to go pee because we literally have been every all around this town. No place to pee. I'm really tired. That's right, <laughs> Piper can't make up her mind. Things felt off, you know, they say, always go with your gut feeling, and that's what I was going with, my gut feeling. My gut was like, and I was like, all right, gut, I'm gonna listen to you. It's about 11 o'clock at night, and the lady's not gonna be there until 7 a.m., so it looks like we're sleeping in the car. Who knows, she might not even be there at 7 a.m. Am I gonna get my dog back? Who knows? It's seven o'clock, ding, 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 I'm your alarm clock, I'm there. Right on schedule, Pocket was there. She got into my car, we gave her a hug, and she, you know, kind of went to bed. But Honestly, at the end of the day, everything happens for a reason, and I'm very happy that I got her back because I don't necessarily think that, you know, that was the perfect home for her. We got her back! So after, um, like, seven hours of sleeping in the car, we finally got her back, and look at this pit bull. It is wild. Morning! Now we're driving back home, and we're gonna get home about, like, noon. I'm gonna look great. I'm gonna look so well rested. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have a lot of, you know, content coming up. Not necessarily on YouTube, but you can go on Instagram. You can go on my Snapchat. You can subscribe to Paul Piper. I don't know. But I love you guys so much, and you're so amazing. All right, well, uh, you better go to Hawaii. And hey, hey, hey.